of Mr. Marcos Legrand. I survived four years at this place. I kind of have no idea how I did it. Uh, it seems like I'm leaving with some pretty interesting stuff going on, though. Uh, we got all that construction going on around campus. I remember there was this rumor going around back when the primer was still up that we were going to become the Claremont Baby Blue Bears. No, no, here's the thing. I kind of like the idea of being the Blue Bears better than being the Chieftains. And this is, this is why. This is why. Because think back to any history lesson about America you have had ever, and the Indians have never made it out on top. It took them a hundred years to figure out that they could exact their revenge through casinos, but until then, whenever the white guys with the shotguns came sailing in, that was it. Game over. There was nothing past that. You lose. <laughs> Meanwhile, bears on the other hand, you shoot a bear once, it is not going down, you've just made it angry. <laughs> it is more likely to maul you now. White guy with a shotgun, one bullet wound, bear, five gashes to your face. <laughs> There's a reason Sarah Palin does it from a helicopter. <laughs> Speaking of mascots, our football field is getting remodeled in honor of our team winning all of three games this year. Yeah! It's a great marketing strategy, isn't it? A whole bunch of people are going to come to see all the new shiny seats. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Loads of people are going to be watching our football team get outshined by our cheerleaders. Like, what is it, three years in a row and they still aren't considered a sport? What is up with that? So I find it funny, you know, most of the people who are like, eh, cheerleading's not a sport, they aren't cheerleaders, now are they? You know why they're not cheerleaders? Cheerleading is hard. Those girls, I swear, they do things that I think should be physically impossible. When our football team learns how to backflip into a pyramid, then maybe I'm going to go see one of their games. <laughs> Until then, I'm not interested in seeing a whole bunch of hot sweaty guys roll around and reach for balls. It's not what I'm into. <laughs> Enough bashing the athletics department. I have some seniorly wisdom to pass down to all your underclassmen, so... Yeah. First off, don't ever let anyone ever tell you that there is something that you can't do, specifically when it's teachers and they're talking about procrastination. <laughs> because they told me I couldn't do it in high school, and I proved them wrong. And they told me I couldn't do it in AP classes, and I proved them wrong. And they tell me I can't do it in college, but I got loads of college friends, so I know I'm going to prove them wrong. Amen. Uh, another thing, don't ever expect your school to take responsibility for anything that it does, I, I'm pretty sure that, that they seem to push the whole we need to be responsible young adults thing a bit too far. And I'm pretty sure any of you can think about a whole bunch of examples of this, but I just got a couple. One day Jimenez came into our class and said, because, you know, there's construction going on on the field, they have made an emergency fire evacuation plan because we can't go to the field and stuff, which is great. They never told us what that was. <laughs> you honestly knew what you were supposed to do for your senior exhibition? <laughs> Another thing, okay, see? <laughs> Another thing, if you don't feel like you want to learn any particular day, and you're in a class taught by like Miss Moore or Myers or Fletch, just, just ask them some sort of random question sort of pertaining to their subject at the beginning of the class, they're going to go on a 40 is like a Ferrari, and you're probably not going to get much out of it, so you can feel free to tune out and just chill the entire period. <laughs> prom advice, prom advice for all you underclassmen, uh, don't anticipate your theme that much, because our theme was, 
Arabian Nights, a whole new world, that kind of thing. And the most Arabian thing that we had was an awkward belly dancer. <laughs> Unless Tyo Cruz's Dynamite suddenly is really popular with Al Qaeda, I have no idea what else was Arabian there. <laughs> and don't expect to go with anyone as a friend, not like as a girlfriend, boyfriend situation. If you're going with someone as a friend, don't expect to dance at all. Because that little clause inside of the prong contract where it talks about no grinding or bumping or freak dancing or anything, that's, as much, that's about as much of a joke as lanyards. <laughs> it is really, really awkward to go out on the dance floor with your friends and bounce around and try and pretend like you know what you're doing, and then some people come up next to you having clothing sex. It's really... <laughs> no idea how I survived four years at this place. I really wish all of you underclassmen the best of luck and an awesome Friday Friday. I hope you all get down.